hi guys welcome back to my channel this is your girl IJ if this is your first time being here you're welcome to this video so in this video I'm just going to share with you guys um, my evening routine what I do in the evening before going to bed I actually just did a video on this makeup look and it's coming your way in less than no minute so um what we're going to do first is we're going to first take off this makeup you know what I mean then um kick from there or take it from there i'm just going to take off my earrings i'm going to tie a scarf or put on a scarf or something so that my hair i'm just using my clinic take the day off cleansing balm As you can see in this section, I'm using a paper towel to take away the excess makeup before I use a washcloth. I prefer using the paper towel because I don't want the makeup to be all clogged onto my towel, then I have to wash it after. So this is just an easy way for me to um, take off the excess. I'm going to use this Pores No More Cleanser. This is from the brand um, Dr. Blunt. I really do like this because it kind of helps minimize pores or something. So once my makeup is all out, I'm going to now jump into the shower and take a quick shower. Then we're going to continue with this video. Um, I just wanted to show you guys some of the products I use on my face at night before I go to bed. Because I know most of you guys have asked me, oh, what are the things you use that your face looks so flawless and whatever story. Which I don't think it does. But I'm just going to show you guys some of the things I do before I go to bed you know like I said in my other video I'm just cleaning off my lashes like I said in my other video when you're using makeup you have to take care of your skin honestly if you do not take care of your skin you're going to have breakouts with all the products we put on our faces we need something to compensate for all of that so taking good care of your skin is really important and sleeping with, with, with makeup, I never try that honestly. It's not a good practice, it's not a good thing. Any dermatologist will tell you that it's not a good practice. So, I'm going to jump right now into the shower, take a quick shower, and then come back and show you guys what I use on my face. So, I just took a quick shower and I already took off my makeup, I have nothing on my face. I tend to use this clinic um, clarifying lotion twice. It's supposed to be used twice a day and this is an exfoliator. This is very, very good for times that you don't have um, the time to exfoliate your skin or something or to exfoliate your face. You just apply this on a cotton, you know, swap or something and you just use this on your face. You just So the next product I'm going to use is this um, Ola Hendrickson Glow Water Dark Spot Toner. This is supposed to help with dark spots on your face or something. So I just take this on a cotton pad and I put a little bit on the pad and I just sweep that all over my face. So if you have dark spots on your face, this is something that you want to try. I've been using this for a very long time. I think this is the second bottle that I'm actually using and it's almost finished. You can see right here. And I think it's doing a good job. You can get this from Sephora or from the Ola Hendrickson website. So the next product I'm going to use is this Enemies Pro Collagen Rose Facial Oil. This one right here. I also received this in my um, 
in my oh shoot in my December boxy charm box and I love 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 this oil at this point I'm going to use my Kyrie sponge and blow serum I really do love this serum because it leaves your face feeling all soft and nice and moisturized and it leaves it glowy as well so I use this serum morning and night it's very very it's a very beautiful serum to use on your face as you can see in this video it gives me a very nice and healthy glow after using the, the Kyrie's um, serum I'm going to jump into my clinic, even better clinic at Dark Spot Corrector and Optimizer. You guys know I love optimizing products by now. So I'm just using the um, clinic, even better clinical Dark Spot Corrector and Optimizer. I'm supposed to use this morning and night to see some effect on your skin. So that's what I'm using right now. And I really do love this thing. Like it's so good. So at this point, I'm going to use my Clinique Even Better Skin Tone Correcting Moisturizer. You guys know this is another product I can swear by. I've been using this for um, almost two years now, just like the Dark Spot Corrector and Optimizer. Normally, you're not supposed to use the moisture. It's not a must to use the moisturizer at night, but I love to use the moisturizer at night because it leaves my skin feeling soft and nice and glowy. And I just love the way my skin looks after I use this product. So that's why I'm using it. I know that's why I normally use it at night. But it's an option. It's a choice if you want to use it or not. But with the dark spot corrector and optimizer, you have to use it evening and night in order to see the effect of the product. And the last product I just used on my lip, this is the Glam Glow um, Lip Balm. This is a very beautiful or nice lip balm it's a balm treatment or something like that for your lips it leaves your lips feeling soft and moisturized like if you have cracked lips this is something you should try so that's the end of this video thanks so much for watching guys i hope you're able to take something home have a good night and see you in my next video bye bye